Hey everybody, welcome back to The Coop with Meyer Hatchery, where we talk all things poultry in hopes of educating chicken keepers and inspiring future flock owners. I'm Tessa. And I'm Jeff. And today we're talking about gardening with chickens and getting the scoop on chicken manure. Before we get started, here's a reminder that did you know you can get $5 off your next Meyer Hatchery purchase by entering this special coupon code? It's the Coop 2022, which is T H E C O O P 2022. Enter that at checkout to get $5 off your next Meyer Hatchery purchase. Let's get the stinky stuff out of the way first. Don't waste all that wonderful chicken poop out in your coop. Turn it into compost so that you can use it to fertilize your garden soil. Compost will help add nutrients as well as organic matter to your soil helping your garden produce delicious foods for you and your family or your community. Can you clean out your coop and dump the bedding directly on your garden soil? Short answer, no. Long answer, chicken manure is extremely high in nitrogen and will literally burn your plants if applied directly from the coop to your soil. You can also run the risk of spreading salmonella and we don't want that. So how do you use the manure from your coop? Well, you have to take the bedding and put it in a pile in a designated out of the way compost area where you're not gonna smell it. You have to let the manure sit for at least three months to work out all the harmful bacteria. And when do you add it? Well, you work into the garden soil each spring for a free alternative to commercial compost. That sounds like a lot of work. I don't know about that, Jeff. Well, if you have chickens, you have work. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. What about this isn't work? I guess it's worth it. So it is. It is work. Um, in the northern states, though, you really are only going to be able to use it once a year because of the heavy winters. In the southern states, you guys have it a little bit easier, but having multiple manure compost piles can get a little stinky if you have it too close <laughs> to the house. I bet. I guess putting it in the right spot is going to be key to making sure that you have great gardens, but also happy noses. So now that we know how to get our chickens to enhance our soil, Let's talk about chickens in the garden. We may know all the scraps that we're not supposed to share with our flock, like potato peels, raw onions, chocolate. But what about those plants out in our garden? Will our birds be safe if we let them wander through during the summer? The answer is yes and no. There are some plants you'll want to keep away from your flock. Tomato and potato plants are from the nightshade family and the leaves of the plant would be toxic if ingested. Ooh, uh, is there anything that we can do to keep our birds safe from those plants? You could use chicken wire to make a temporary fence just for gardening season. Planting a garden just for the chickens can distract them sort of from the main plot too. Lots of herbs and greens will keep them busy for a long time. Well, that's, that's great to know. My flock has been doing some garden cleanup for me for the past couple of weeks. And though I haven't seen them touch any plants in my plot that I want to keep, I would probably need to be more aware of what they're doing out there. Uh, so speaking of garden cleanup, my, my flock is working overtime for me in the garden. Are you letting them have free range of your garden? I am. Isn't that scary? Uh, once all of my garden plants are established, I'm able to let my birds out to weed and eat bugs from the garden with just a little bit of supervision. Uh, sure. Um, how do you even have any plants left? <laughs> well, because they're free ranging every day, they're looking more for what's on the ground than the plant itself. There are some plants they can't resist, like tender carrots, radish greens, lettuce, herbs. And the other day I saw one of my roosters jumping up to eat my not ready grapes. I can't let them ravage all of my crops. So they're not allowed in all of the areas where those plants are growing. 
that sounds like you put in some work to try to keep them out of some of the areas. Well, a wise man once told me that chickens are a lot of work, Jeff. <laughs> so it works. True, for me. they are. Yeah. <laughs> Since I'm on our farm all day and we have a really large harvest, the benefit of the chickens slowly fertilizing my garden while they're eating all those bugs that might take my whole crop is well worth the fee of letting them eat one or two bok choy plants as they work. Out there, they get all of those nasty bugs out and away. And they kind of alert me even when I might have an outbreak. Like the other day, I saw them all around one plant. And when I went over to it, it had aphids. So that really alerted me to the fact that I needed to pay more attention. So I can thank my birds for that. You got that right. With costs rising every day at the grocery store, uh, you got to make sure they're not eating your hard-earned fruits and vegetables. And if you can't let your flock mingle with your garden during growing season, you can always let them do the cleanup once you have harvested your crops. Oh, what do you mean? I know you've seen your birds scratching in the dirt around their coop and run. They'll do the same thing to your garden bed. They'll use their nails to dig in and turn over the top layer of soil, exposing bugs in the larva stage that are waiting to hatch next season and attack your garden. Letting your birds have free range of the late summer garden after harvest can be your best defense against bugs for the next season. That's a great idea. Who needs a tiller when you have a flock of hungry hens? I have a lot to think about. It's time to start planning my chicken garden for next year and figure out where I can put that dedicated chicken manure pile without the stink. So with that, we thank you for listening to The Coop. Be sure to subscribe. And if you'd be so kind, drop us a review. Do you have a poultry related question or a topic you would like us to cover? We want to hear from you send us an email to podcast at meyerhatchery.com.